another day in the rain. What do we have here? What's up YouTube, Nick here. Welcome back to the channel. Stop, I actually don't really talk like that. Let's just take a second, collaborate, subscribe if you can, and listen, because Harbor Freight is back with a brand new Atlas invention. The pricing doesn't grab a hold of me tightly, though they say it beats a 50cc gas chainsaw daily and nightly. Will it ever stop? I don't know. But with this one, we have to charge it up. And it's 50 degrees outside, and it's raining, but they don't call for snow. All right, so what we got here is the 80 volt, brand new Atlas chainsaw from Harbor Freight. And I already have my thoughts on this, but we're gonna run through it today. We've got a couple other saws to test, and they say this saw will beat a 50cc chainsaw. What we did do is we picked up a Husqvarna 50cc, 50.2cc chainsaw, because most of my saws are bigger, and I do have one that's smaller. So we're gonna try to run this before, before it gets dark, put these things through some tests. Let's just get this opened up first. I did take the liberty to open up the fast charger and charge it. I do have the timestamps I'll put on the video for how long it takes to charge out of the box. So we got the 80 volt battery and we got the fast charger. They do make a regular charger. The charger, the regular charger is like 40 bucks or something and then the, the fast charger is like 60 or 70. Uh, I'll put the pricing on the screen. Anyway, we got a battery powered chainsaw. They do make a 40 volt version of this as well with a 16 inch bar. So from what I know so far, the 40, 40 volt chainsaw doesn't have a variable speed trigger, 16 inch bar. This one has a variable speed trigger and an 18 inch bar. Comes with a little bit of bar and chain oil, 100 milliliters of that. A little wrench that we'll probably need because they probably didn't match this up to every other saw in the world. So we'll grab that out of here. We got some bar and chain oil. We'll get the saw out. Doesn't look like there's anything else in the box except for the saw. Get this out of the packaging here. I have some clips looking at these in the store as well, but I, I just had to. I just had to take a look at this. Where I, where I really see that this saw is, may work is for somebody that can't really pull a saw anymore, and, and maybe the weight. But I think with a battery, this is, I mean, it's not really balanced off the bat, but I think with a battery, it's going to balance. Let's open this up. Got the cover here. First thing I notice, I mean, it's, it's, it's all plastic like a poly plastic. You got a button lock on the side with the trigger. Let's uh, plug her in, we charge it up. I noticed on some other saws they have the Anderson connectors. This one just has like the slots for the battery. They say that this battery's impact resistant and everything else. Plug that in. Balance wise, that, that balances out. You got a battery indicator on the back. The chain brake comes on, pull the chain brake up. So it is variable speed, it looks like. Um, let's throw some oil in it. Not sure how big the reservoir is, but a couple ounces of bar oil that comes with it. Looks like it's all torque, torque screws. If you had to take it apart, not sure that you would have to do that. Take off this little warning. Probably says before you spin the, spin the saw, put the oil in it. You just tighten it down and flip the cap. It seems like it's sealed. You can kind of see through the container a little bit, see how much oil you have in there. So I guess that's a nice feature to see if you have oil. We've got the battery indicator, we've got the chain brake. Saw is ready to go. What we're gonna do is we'll put this up against a couple other saws here. 80 volts, brushless, battery powered. I only got one battery. This whole equipment setup probably cost around 300 bucks, and that's just with one battery. So, and I used a $20 off coupon that they had. So when you start talking around 300 bucks, we gotta look at some gas chainsaws, see where we stand. They did a video the other day on this too, and I don't know if it was neck and neck, so we're gonna try this out. So I think it comes with a, like a stock chain. I'm not sure how good the chain is that comes on it, but I do have a chain that we can replace it with. It's an 050 chain. Uh, I'm not sure anything else about it. We're gonna, we're gonna take it out there. The saw we have to compare it to today is an everyday store-bought Lowe's Husqvarna. That's the 450E. This saw sells for around $2.99, but sometimes you can get it on a discount. So I wanted to get something that would be comparable. So we're gonna unbox this, brand new, fresh. Pull the cover off of this. So here we got the uh, Husqvarna 450 Rancher. Store-bought Lowe's, $2.99. We'll have to weigh these, see what they weigh in at. This has a 050, 325 pitch, 20-inch bar. Non-replaceable tip on this one, standard chain. So we're gonna take it Right from the store, right from the store. Let's get this one ready to go so when we get out there we can start doing some cutting with it. Throw some bar oil in here. 
I got some other bars for some other chainsaw work I got to do. This is the premix fuel. We got a full, full tank of fuel there. Got some bar oil in there. All right, that's that's filled up. All right, so this guy's ready. I think this is 50.1 or 50.2 cc's. Throw everything in the box that we may or may not need. The extra chain. And then what do you guys think? Maybe we should take a couple other saws here. I stole one of my neighbor's new saws that he purchased. It's a uh, steel 211. I think this is around 30 cc's. I'll have to look it up. Let's get out and see if we can get some cotton done before it really starts pouring. I wonder if we can uh, follow a tree with, with the Atlas. Let's see what happens. So since the weather isn't necessarily cooperating today, I, I just want to do this video. And, it, and sometimes you do have to cut when it's, when it's crappy out. But let's, uh, I think what we're going to do is we're gonna take the 50 cc, put this up against the Atlas. This should be a good test anyway, out in the, out in the elements. So we've got the 50 cc Husqvarna. We've got the Atlas. To be careful, that one sticks out a lot. I think what I'll do is, uh, while we travel there, I'll just pull the battery out. Keep that that covered. Got to worry about things like that. Let's take uh, the Steel 211. Ryobi. Do we want to take a big saw? Do we want to take one just in case? All right, we'll take we'll take it up against. We'll take the Husky. I guess I should have built a bigger uh, a bigger holder for this, huh? A little axe with us, I guess. And uh, a pair of gloves, some fuel, some bar oil. All right, we got fuel in each saw. I don't, the only thing I have is this little fishing, mossy oak fishing thing that my wife got me to weigh these. About 14 and a half pounds on the 50cc Husqvarna. God knows how we're going to do this. This might double as a drop test. And you're right around 13 and a half, almost 14 pounds on this one. So not too much weight difference. I'm not sure where we're at in the 211. The 211 is about 13 pounds. So even lighter yet. Ryobi. Well, the Ryobi I can't I can't weigh because it's it's pulling. Let me get a, let me get on this little hook here. So here we go with the Ryobi. Ryobi is about 12 pounds. To give you an idea of weight. So actually, the Atlas is a little bit heavier than the 211 and the Ryobi. Atlas, Husky. So this is the tree we're gonna take down here. Let's see if we can drop one with the old Atlas. So I guess we don't have to put earplugs in. We don't have to do much. I did notice too these these bucking spikes here. They're they're like rounded off. They're not really sharp at all. So I don't think you're digging into a tree with those. But uh, stock chain, stock bar. There is a delay. There is a delay. Now when you let off the trigger, it does stop. There's a delay on start and stop that I noticed. It kind of kicks. No anti vibration. You know, a power saw is going to have. The anti vibration in the handles and stuff. So we'll see, see what we can do here. Clean up the area.
Seems like it's stopping here and there, but we'll see what happens. minutes of run time. A little dusty but seems to be holding up. Well, right where we uh right where we wanted her. So we're still showing full bars of power. You know, battery's a little loose in this thing too, but let's see what happens. Maybe you guys want to time this. Let's get the timer on it. It's actually not too not too bad, stock chain. So I wonder how many cuts, this is about the same size tree. I wonder how many cuts we'll get out of this. Let's take a, let's take a cut from here, just because it's about the same width. Three. So far, how are we doing on bar oil? Still doing good on bar oil? Oh, well, we're down to four bars, or three bars. Let's get another one out of here. All right, we're gonna run the, the 50cc one here. I can tell you that between the Atlas and this, the Atlas seems like it has the the power, but this saw seems like it slices through like butter. So the Atlas, I was putting a little bit of pressure on this. I'm kind of just letting the saw run down through. So I'm going to push, put a little pressure on this, put a little bit more pressure on the Atlas. <laughs> Back to the old Atlas. I'm put some more pressure on 
this one. Still three bars. I don't know, what do you guys think? You tell me. Seems to do all right. Still running three bars right now. All right, so I wanted to change the chain. Unfortunately, I didn't bring the right chain with me. All right, so we got the timing down. We still have three, batter three battery bars left. Let's just throw these together and let's run it until we, until we run out of daylight here. All right, guys, since we're running out of daylight, we're going to do more tests. Let me know what you guys want to see. But let's finish this off. We'll try to burn this battery up before it gets totally dark out. We got the 572, we got the 211, and we got the Ryobi. Let's put up against the Ryobi first. And it's the smallest saw we have. <laughs> Once again with the Atlas. Uh oh, shut off. Totally just shut off. It's not doing anything. Three bars of battery. Three seat the battery. Whoops, safety first. so far still with three bars just to give you guys an idea before it gets dark we'll hit it with the uh, that's the 450 behind me we'll hit it with the old 572 what the f is going on with these saws She won't fire up, boys. The Husky won't fire up. That's a first. All right, so the new fuel, my neighbor's saw. That gives you an idea there. I guess we can see if we can get this Husky running. I don't know what the problem is with it. All right, I think we got the Husky running. I'm trying to get this all running. But I'll show you the five seven.
that's the 572. Unless you guys want to sneak and see how many more cuts we can get out of the, the small one. Let's run it. That's what this is about. I don't even know if you can see me anymore. Shut off again. Guys, it's only like 45 degrees outside right now. Shut off. Take the battery out. Reseat the battery. Pull it out. Let's try it one last time here. cuts we're down to two bars Try get one more out of this. <laughs> Two bars. It's a decent amount of cuts. We're out of light, guys. I pushed it, sweating. We're out of light. We're gonna have to do part two. Let me know if you guys want to see something else. We'll have to put it up against a couple other saws. Over and all, I don't, I don't see this as a professional grade. I see it, uh, for a homeowner, it might not be that bad. Let me take the plugs out because I feel like I'm screaming. For a homeowner, I don't think it's gonna be that bad. I'm worried about it shutting off. I don't know if I'd trust it all the time to work, but it cuts all right. Feels like it has enough power. You saw what it did today. I still think I'd go with a Husky or probably a steel, like somewhere in the 299 range. Because after you get another battery for this, the charge time, everything else. But we just got to see it cut through. We can run a couple more. Stay tuned for part two, guys. We're out of light. <laughs> so I couldn't finish this video without being a tech review. Thumbs up to tile for finding my keys. I had to come the whole way back here with my other set of keys to find my keys. Pinch black out, check this out. Tile, where are my keys at? Find, somewhere down in this sawdust. Oh. <laughs> Those were covered. Without this little tile, I would have never found my keys. They would have been here probably. Oh, I would have had to come over here and comb around, but 